good day once again. So this time, we are going to demonstrate how to properly subnet a given network. So when we say subnetting, this is actually the process of uh, dividing a single network into its multiple subnetwork. Okay, from the term subnet that came from subnetworks. Okay, so let's say for example, we need to to uh, subnet a class B network. So this is uh, say one seven two dot sixteen dot zero dot zero. Okay, so let's try to, to define the the requirements. Okay, we are going to create five subnets. So from from the single uh, network. This will be divided into five sub networks. Okay. For class B network, for class B network, its ID is we have the first octet is for the network, the second octet still for network, and the remaining octets are used as a host bits so we have n that n that h that h but each of these octets are, uh, are equivalent to eight binary numbers so this is actually equivalent to n n n n five six seven eight that Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus H, 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 five, six, seven, eight. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three. So this comprises uh, the IP address. It comprises of 32 bits all in all. The first and the second octet is for the network address, and the third and the fourth octets are for host addresses or host bits rather. Now, in subnetting, the, the process is to borrow certain number of bits from the host bits to become part of the network bits. Okay, I repeat. Subnetting is the process of borrowing bits from host bits to become part of the network bits. Okay, the question here is, how many number of bits are we going to borrow from host to become part of the network okay so we use now the formula 2 raised to n minus 2 is greater or equal to the requirement which is 5 subnets okay so n here is actually the number of bits to be borrowed n is the number of bits to be borrowed so the result of this one should be the nearest number greater than 5. The nearest number greater than 5. So let's try to, to determine how many number of bits are we going to borrow for us to define 5 subnetworks. So let us try, let's say 4. Let's do some trial and error. Okay. So 2 raised to 4 minus 2 greater or equal to 5. So 2 raised to 4 is 16 minus 2 greater than or equal to 5. That is actually 14. Which is true. Which is true. But 14 is not the nearest number which is greater than or equal to 5. 
Okay, how about 3? 2 raised to 3 minus 2 should be greater or equal to 5. So, 2 raised to 3 is 8 minus 2 greater than or equal to 5. That is 6 greater than or equal to 5. So, 6 is much closer to 5 as compared to 14. Okay, as compared to 14. Okay, let's try it. One, one more number. Okay, let's say uh, we turn n is equal to 2. So, 2 raised to 2 minus 2 greater than or equal to 5. So, we have 4 minus 2 greater than or equal to 5. That is 4 minus 2, that is 2 greater than or equal to 5. So, 2 is not already greater than 5. So, we, we eliminate already 2. Okay as the number of uh, bits to be borrowed. So we only choose from n is equal to 4 or n is equal to 3. But since n is equal to 3 is much closer to 5, we choose this number. Okay, we choose this number. So therefore, um, n should be equal to 3. Okay, n should be equal to 3. We now erase this one. So, this n should be equal to 3. This is the number of bits to be borrowed from us to become part of the network number or network bits. Okay. So, to do so, okay, to do so, let us rewrite this one okay, for you to, to understand more clearly. So we have n. greater than or equal to 5. From the third octet, this is where we are going to borrow that 3 bits from the third octet. So, we turn now, we convert now these 3 bits into a network bit. So, we have n, 2, 3. And the remaining still is part of the host. 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So, just concentrate on the third and the fourth octet. Just concentrate on the third and the fourth octet. Okay? Notice that in the third octet, these three bits from us is now converted into network bits. Okay, it's now converted into network bits. So from 2 raised to 3 minus 2, that is 8 minus 2, which is 6. We can produce 6 valid subnets or 6 um, subnets okay six usable subnets rather so what are those subnets okay so since we we produce six as the number of valid subnets what are those numbers okay what are those numbers so let's start from n let's start from n Okay. What are the possible combinations of zeros and ones if we, if we uh, uh, rearrange the number zeros and ones from this portion? Okay. So the first combination, possible combination, can be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 
Okay. So remember, this is from our network bits. Okay. This is from our network bits. We still have remaining five bits from the host. Okay. So here we just turn it into all zeros. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And then convert this back into its equivalent decimal number. So this is zero. This is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. This is 64. 64 plus 32 is 96. And then we also have 1 to 8. What well, else? 1 to 8 plus 32. Uh, 160. Then 1, 9, 2. Lastly, we have 2, 2, 4. Okay, we have 2, 2, 4. So this will now be our usable subnets. Okay, usable subnets. Now let's try to, to create a network plan. 